Hello and welcome to August. So I have done a few things this month, not an awful lot, but the ones I have done I'm quite happy with. So the first thing that I finished in August, but I started in July, was this cushion cover. Um, the cushion, it, the cushion lives in our car and the reason I wanted to make it is so that I have a cushion with me when we go places because sometimes seats are very uncomfortable and because of my arthritis a slightly uncomfortable seat for an extended period of time becomes a very uncomfortable seat and to be fair I think I actually made a cushion that was too big and I should probably make a slightly smaller one because it is absolutely massive um, to the point where it lives on the back seat in the car instead of in the boot because it takes up too much room so when we do the shopping we can't fit any shopping in the boot. Um, <laughs> I really like how it turned out, it looks really nice but I think it might just be a little bit too big for a, uh, a travelling cushion so I might make another cushion at some point in the future. The next thing I started but I've not finished yet and it's a uh, like a short raglan cardigan. I've gotten over the kind of the awkward bit of the actual increases and the arms and things like that and I'm just at the body portion and um, it's slow going because it's just knitting one way and purling the other so it is taking a bit of a while but it's my at work knitting project so I can do it on my breaks and stuff and um, I don't have to think too much about it or have a pattern open and concentrate on it. It's something I can pick up and put down very easily. The next thing is um, some sewing, which I don't do all that often. And I had originally wanted to make a dress out of these really nice um, like cotton blankets. And I had an idea for the dress and it didn't pan out very well. It Because I'm not using a pattern, I was making it, not making it up as I go along, but like, planning it out without a pattern and just using like the measurements of my body and it didn't quite work out how how I'd wanted it to and um, the way that it was going to go if I carried on the way I was making it it was going to look a bit like a, a just like a, a, a complicated nighty or a moo moo something of that description and I didn't quite want that kind of style um, so I just turned it into a skirt instead so I haven't worn it outside of the house yet I've tried it on and I kind of know how I want to style it I don't wear skirts that all that often I'm more of a dress kind of person than uh, than skirts but I have options I have an idea of how I'm going to style it so at some point in the future I will wear it out but I haven't yet then I started an idea for a like a wrap cardigan top and part way through making it I realized I had actually already tried this another time basically with the same idea and had forgotten in the intervening months that I tried this already and it didn't really work out very well the first time and I could see that this was going the same way so I, uh, I scrapped it and just unraveled it but I have plenty of cardigans and I'm already working on one at the moment anyway it's not like I needed it it was just oh this is a good idea and then I realized oh I thought I'd had that good idea before and it turned out to be not as good of an idea <laughs> I may make a cardigan a wrap cardigan thing at some point in the future but I want to try and find a pattern that already exists in my size rather than trying to make it up myself because when I try to make things up myself that's where they go wrong um, sometimes not all the time but often enough that I need to learn from my mistakes and try and find a pattern that works <laughs> the next two things that I made were a tester for a shawl and then the actual shawl itself for a commission from a friend of mine I don't know if the intended recipient has received it yet so I'm not going to show pictures just so I don't spoil it I don't know if she would actually see them or not I don't know if she watches these videos but I'd rather not run the risk of her seeing it and it being spoiled before she actually gets it um, however once I know that she's had it I will be posting pictures on Instagram Instagram so you will be able to see it. Then I made a bag. So I made this, I sewed it um, from a t-shirt. So a friend of mine is in a band called, well, please forgive me, I'm, I don't speak German. I think it's Eden Weint in Grab. Um, so, and they're a German band, they're from Berlin. <laughs> um, I really like this t-shirt but I don't wear t-shirts and also the t-shirts that people sell usually don't go big enough for my comfort level anyway. Um, but I do like making bags and I well, like making things in general as you probably know watching these videos. Um, so what I did was I sewed up at the bottom end and cut off 
um, a lot of it because it was quite a bit and then the bits that I cut off I made the straps with and I sewed up the arms and chopped them off as well or sewed up the arm holes and chopped off the arms to just make a bag um, so you can see the strap is quite long so this in this mode it's a like a, an over and cross bag but I also made it so that you can hold it with these I'm not showing this very well um, also made it so you can hold it with these straps um, and just hold it in your hand as well um, because I like having options for my bags because sometimes I'll think holding it one way is really handy and then I'll get bored of it and then I can switch it up so it might look a bit um, rough and ready but it works and uh, I like the way it looks and I really like the t-shirt design <laughs> in a bid to use up the um, yarns that I have because I have an awful lot. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before but I have a lot of yarn left over from when I make things um, <laughs> and uh, in a bid to use them up I am trying to make um, blankets just here and there making various different blankets mostly with crochet um, so I started a crochet blanket but what I'm doing is using three strands of yarn together and a really big crochet hook so that it will grow quickly um, but the trouble with that is it can be quite intense on the hands because it's it takes a lot more work to do the actions uh, to make the stuff so um, that's probably going to be a long-term project sometimes I just want something that I don't have to think about I don't have to use my brain power occasionally there are times when I do want to to use my brain and and you know be artistic or clever with something but there are times when I just want to do something without having to think about it and this is one of those things. Then I made this bag. So it's a little drawstring pouch with um, a line of, it looks like fleur-de-lis but it's it's just supposed to be a plus or a cross. Uh, moons and stars and dragons. And I really like it, it's worked really well, it's um, come out looking pretty much as I expected. The only trouble is, I don't know if it's just because of the, the colour combination that I've used, it kind of just looks like a like a Christmas jumper. Um, it's also a lot bigger really than I had intended on it being. Um, I wanted to make a sort of a small like Regency style um, purse and um, this looks more like a Christmas stocking almost or like a, a Christmas goodie bag um, I'm happy with it in itself but not for what the intended purpose was so I've started another one in a much smaller yarn um, and it's just going to have the dragon pattern on it rather than the extra bits as well I think the combination of the dragon and the other bits like the different rows I think that's what gives it the kind of Christmassy feel um, so yeah I'm trying it with a sock weight yarn rather than a DK yarn which is what this one's made in and keeping the scale the same um, rather than the size so hopefully it'll be a lot smaller and more of a like a little like dance purse kind of size rather than you know <laughs> Christmas stocking or a present sack although saying that this might be a really good way to use up a lot of my yarn to give Christmas gifts in this year. You're seeing me think in real time now. <laughs> um, so I might make a few more designs of uh, patterns and things and make a load of bags like this. Well, there we go, that'll keep me busy. Um, and I think, yeah, that's it for August. The only thing I have left that I really want to talk about is in November I'm going to shave all of my hair off. I've been growing it since November 2021 when I last shaved it all off and um, I'm shaving it off in aid of Macmillan Cancer Support. There is a link to my Just Giving page down below. The hair itself will be donated to the Little Princess Trust and I'll also be making a donation using my own money to Little Princess Trust to help them fund the work that they do as well as um, give them my hair to make the wigs that they make. Um, I'll also put links to both Macmillan and Little Princess Trust in the description in case you don't know what they do rather than me explaining they can do a much better job of explaining that. I'll put links to their websites down below. Um, 
if you can donate I would really really appreciate anything you know even if it's just a quid every donation is helpful um, I'll be adding my own money into that as well as the donation to Little Princess Trust and yeah thank you for watching if you've got this far and uh, I'll see you in the next one